think well, let's just start off with kind of the biggest scare of the week when you sent this to the chat i nearly um my heart nearly busted but cowboys quarterback dak prescott says that his shoulder strain isn't any kind of serious setback discuss so there's it's weird there's there's obviously a conflicting reports out there at first you hear it and you kind of think well it's they're gonna just sit him for a few days but then i also seen on twitter that uh he might be out for a couple weeks so you don't really mm. know well you know what rest him now fuck yeah rest him now um i think it's any time like they went and did an mri on it mm-hmm. so there there's there's concern of what it possibly could have been i bet you they probably thought it was more of a um tear or yeah it's a good thing it's not i think it's just a strained muscle and the good thing with this year they play your steelers uh in the hall of fame game august 5th so they actually have an extra week like the steelers and cowboys both started training camp early so it's not really like say he has to sit out two weeks he's still gonna have three weeks of training camp and preseason and do they start the the season or the preseason preseason early early. so there's like so you got four weeks of pre or is it just three weeks of preseason this year no it's still four it's still four is it I don't know. Yeah. I think they lost a week of preseason by hey, bringing before, in that extra game. Before we just d- do you, decide on it, well, because we let never me just look. Yeah, just look. But <laughs> okay, we never. Well, this well, is the thing. We never talk about because no one really cares about. Well, while, while you're looking, do you, I have a question. Do you think Jerry uh, picked up smoking cigarettes again since this happened? As soon as it happened, he goes, "Oh up. man, he's I just, think he just picked up his pack." I know he, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry has a pack of cigarettes that he keeps on him that he doesn't just in case. Just think, no, just to take out and put a cigarette in his mouth and and, and well, hold no, the lighter there. No, I think it's like the scene in... Uh, and it's then like, he, like, puts it away. <laughs> it's like the scene in, uh, if you've ever... For those of you that are probably too young to know what Honey, I Shrunk the Kids are, uh, but when the father of the neighbors, he uh, finds out that his kids are missing and he's sitting out back and he's smoking, smoking the cigarette. He's scary. And that guy scared me when I was a kid. Oh, oh, no, there's Hall of Fame. That's the... Ca- no, Hall of Fame's the Cowboys Steelers. Yeah. Then there's... So week, there's only three weeks. One, two, and three. Oh, So shit. the Cowboys Steelers have four weeks like normal, but then every other team has uh, has three. Okay. Wow. But that's still good. So then Dak, at least, he still just gets that extra week, right? I yeah. hope it's nothing serious because I feel super fucking bad for the guy oh, coming man. back. And he was looking injury. good. He was... I know. And coming back from that injury and then fucking getting injured in preseason. But uh, with uh, like looking at that when it first dropped and you find out that it's his arm opposed to his ankle. Yeah, you know, yes. like when I'd seen. Well, I guess the first hint that it was a good thing was he jogged off the field. <laughs> yeah. That was probably a good sign. But then when you hear, I mean, he's gonna have. I, you'd be naive to think he's not gonna experience a little shoulder or sore armness after he hasn't really been in competitive football f- right. since last October. Right. You know, it's like anything. You're, he's gonna play as fast as he thinks he as he can. But it's just anyone that's played sports knows that playing the sport opposed to like him throwing with Zeke and uh, Amari mm-hmm. Cooper in the off season is way different than when you finally get to training camp and you yeah. finally have the adrenaline going and you're finally playing at like, he's not match fit. No, he's, he's exactly. He's not. Yeah. He's match fit game fit. How, however you want to say it. Same shit. Um, he, he, he wasn't there. And I think it's mainly just a precaution at the time. Yeah. He's in a position where there's no, he doesn't need to, sh- to stay in and risk making this se- more serious to, to win his spot. Like, uh, he right? needs so. to, and the shitty thing about this is obvious. Well, it, you can kind of look at it as a, I don't know if catch twenty two is the right, right saying. You just hear it all the time, so I'm going to say it. It's like a catch twenty two. <laughs> Dax, Dax, Dax out, Dax out. But then now you get to see what your backups are doing, right? Sure. So like you don't ever want Dak to be out, but you also want to see your backups get more reps, right? So now you basically mm-hmm. have Ben Ben DiNucci and uh, Garrett Gilbert going uh, mono and mono to see who's going to get the second string position. And I guess it's just been a pick fest. That, the defense. that sounds like you just made up two names. Yeah. For, right? For yeah. Yeah. yeah, you li- yeah. So may, I don't know. Maybe it's Garrett Benvenuti Gilbert, Gilbert Grape. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, dude. I mean, it, it, the, Garrett, yeah, Gilbert Grape <laughs> versus fucking Joey Tribbiani. Like. Yeah, but the, Anna <laughs> Fleck. Yeah. The Gilbert Danucci uh, clip that we throw up last week it, is getting it, some it, heat on got, our. Yeah, got, it did pretty good. She's I'm getting surprised. some legs, more, more, more legs than their freaking arms. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. So they've been getting, they've been getting picked off at like crazy at practice. And this is another thing you don't know if this is a good thing. Our defense is looking good, or our backup quarterbacks are just dog shit. Mm. Now, do you also? think that like when when they pick him off they're like get out of here get out of like oh, yeah, like they talk shit. <laughs> yeah they talk shit for sure i like dak dak is a real barbaric run um when he's dropping back here real barbaric like he's just a big boy just like lumbering around cd yeah, looking yeah. like a g but yeah it's you know you never want to see your starting quarterback get hurt well, they bring the-